What's going on, everybody? You guessed it, you guessed it. It is your boy, Trey Sense. And listen, thank you so much for returning to the scene of the crime. You know from the thumbnail and you know from the title. I'm finna talk about Oud. The mood for Oud. You have to be in the mood for Oud. Um, oh, before we get into this, do me a favor, please smash that like, smash that sub button if you haven't. And if you feel like this is interesting, entertaining, uh, maybe even a little bit thought provoking and educational. How about sharing it with a friend or two? Maybe you got somebody that, you know, you want to introduce to some fragrances. Maybe this will help. Okay, let's get into it. The Mood for Ooh is the name of this video. I managed to find, let me count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fragrances from my collection that are oud fragrances and most of these are extremely affordable especially for oud fragrances because oud fragrances can be a little bit expensive but these are affordable no further ado let's get right into it probably one of the most overlooked oud fragrances and probably definitely the most overlooked fragrance from this particular house the house is john barbados and this is simply john barbados oud it's a tester so i did not get a cap with this um let me make sure i got the atomizer there we go. And these are gonna have one thing in common. Ooh, that smells good. I can smell that from here. I like that. I really, really do. In my honest, humble opinion as a reviewer, I understand that most people view oud as a cool weather note and it is you can wear it in the cool weather also you can wear it in the heat you can now can you wear 65,000 sprays of it no you can't but you can't really do that with any heavy fragrance i don't think when these people sit down and design these fragrances they go this is going to be a wintertime monster that's not how i don't think that's how it works I think they look at it as the person's gonna like this fragrance and they're gonna wear it when they want to. And that's what I encourage you to do. Wear what you want, when you want, how you want it. That's it. This one may be the most wearable out of all of them. It is very, very sexy. Oh, my arm is itching. And easy to wear oud. And I wanna say this one can be had easily under 50 bucks. I know I paid under $50 for it, but again, it was a tester. It took me a while to grow into the note of Oud and to understand how to wear it, when to wear it, um, all of that. Now, there are different kinds of Ouds. There's a very skanky, animalic, barnyard Oud. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but some people are. I'm not, none of these are that way. All of these are very designerish, easy to wear oods. But one that I definitely think you should get your hand on and will make a good entry level to oud and a very easy to wear oud. It is John Varvetos oud. That's a good one. And it's pretty cheap. This next one is going to be pretty cheap as well. As a matter of fact, the next three are gonna be pretty cheap and then I'll go to one that's a little more expensive and then I'll finish it off with the most expensive too, okay? This one is from the house of Ben Sherman and it is Signature and it has been making its rounds and I've decanted quite a bit of this. The levels on it are right here. This is just a great oud scent, man. And I picked mine up at Burlington and they say this is a clone of Tom Ford's Oud Wood, maybe. Now, what I'm going to tell you is, is this a perfume concentration? Oh, my eyes are not going to be able to focus on that. Well, maybe. Let's see. Nope. For the price that you pay for this, for the price that you pay for this $13 or $14 fragrance, maybe even $9.99 in some places, you're getting a very high quality juice. It smells really good. You definitely pick up on the oud. It tends to be a little bit linear, but that's fine. It is what it is. I think it's a really nice fragrance, especially for the price point. Now, that's good too. 
This one leans a little bit more animalic than the John Barbados. So be careful with this one. This is not one that you're gonna wanna spray a lot of. This one can be a little bit body odorish, animalic, but some people like that. Some people like that. But yes, it's definitely more animalic than the John Barbados. As a matter of fact, I'll go out on a limb and say this. This is probably the seven that I picked. This is probably the most animalic out of all of them. Now, keep in mind, I do have in my collection um, Niche Oud by, by Armoff, which is a banger of a fragrance, but I put that in several of my videos. And I have John Barbado, not John Barbado, goodness gracious, Creed Royal Oud. And it's one of my favorite fragrances of all time, but it has a lot of vetiver in it as well. And that vetiver oud mixes together beautifully. And it's not it's not inexpensive. That's that's a pricey fragrance. I got lucky and found mine at TJ Maxx for $189. So definitely a little bit more animalic. I won't say skanky, but it does have more of a animalic. Uh, body odor type of vibe than the John Barbados. Now, does it smell good? Yes. Is it off-putting? Not in the least. It does smell good and it smells a lot more expensive than what the price tag on it is. So that's Ben Sherman's signature. Okay, which would be the next cheapest one? This, I don't know. We'll go with this one. We'll go with this one Just and just say it's the next cheapest. The next cheapest one, cheapest one is from Sensual Obsessions, and it is their version of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. And I've had this one quite a bit for quite a while, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out the date. The make date on this one was 5-9-2020. So this fragrance is over three years old. And you know, the longer they sit, the more potent they get. And you don't need a lot of this, two to three sprays of this, and you're in a ball game. This is a great alternative. Now, again, mine is three plus years old. It was three years old in May. And I remember when I got this fragrance, I wasn't sure about it. I remember spraying it on and being, hmm, hmm. But again, oud is a note that I've grown into as I've got a spray on each arm. Two to three sprays of most oud fragrances is about all you will need because they are very potent and they are strong. Do any of these fragrances contain actual oud? I doubt it. I think the way I understand it is oud is some type of sap that seeps from a tree. But I think the way it works is kind of like amber. Um, it's not really a note, it's an accord that gives off a note. And I think in Fragcom, most fragrances do not have oud in them. They use a combination of notes to give off the accord of oud. But, <coughs> excuse me, original oud or pure oud oil is extremely expensive. You will pay hundreds of dollars for an amount of pure oud oil no bigger than this cap. I mean, it will cost you hundreds of dollars. So I dare, I, I, I dare say any of these fragrances have food in them. But the third cheapest on this list are least expensive because I don't like using the word cheap because none of these fragrances are cheap. They're just inexpensive. Would be from the House of Sensual Obsession. It is their version of Oud Wood by Tom Ford. And I think that's what the Ben Sherman is going after as well. It is along the same line. So I'm pretty sure that's what they're trying to go. Now, this next one is, an, is another one that's fairly inexpensive. I think I picked this up on Macari for $17, I think $16. And I have to tell you, I was blown away by this fragrance. I really was blown away by this fragrance. It's my first offering from this house. The house is Frank Olivier, or Olivier, however you pronounce that. And the fragrance is Oud Touch. And this is for $16 or for the 20 to 21 dollars that you can normally pick this bottle up for it is divine it is divine and this is an oud fruit 
definitely one that you can wear in the summertime. And again, doesn't take a lot of it. Very well made fragrance. When you first spray it, you're gonna get that oud. And the thing about all four ouds that I've smelled, they all have their similarities, but they're all different at the same time. Again, this is a fruity oud. Definitely not as animalic as the Ben Sherman, but it, it, it leans like it's gonna go really, really hard, animalic and beastly and body odory, and then it takes this right turn, and that's when the fruit and everything starts to come out. This one has more body and more development than both the John Barbados and the, um, the Ben Sherman. Yeah, just a little bit more body, a little bit more depth. Now the, again, they all smell good. That Ben Sherman is getting a little bit more alimalic, com especially compared to the JV. The JV is just sitting over here chilling. It's extremely smooth, sexy, wearable. I really think you would like that, especially if you wore it the right way and wore the right amount with it. I think that fragrance will come off as if it is really, really expensive and just nice. Talking about this one again, John Barbados. Ooh, that's a good little fragrance right there. And again, this one <sighs> comes off slightly animalic and then it turns into this nice ooty fruity, fruity ooty type of fragrance. John, not John, but why is John Barbados <laughs> stuck in my head? I want to call every fragrance John Barbados. Maybe it's because it was the first one. Frank Olivier Oud Touch. That's a good one. And this is fairly inexpensive. Now we're going to get up in price a little bit, but not a lot. This one is probably my most complimented Oud fragrance other than Royal Oud. I will say Royal Oud gets me compliments. It, it, it just does. It gets me compliments. But this is probably my most complimented out of all of these. Yes, I'm going to say that. It's, it's going to be close. And it is from the house of Dunhill. And it is Dunhill Icon Absolute. Whew, that smells so good. This, this line of fragrances from Dunhill when they first came out. They were all the rave. You heard all the reviewers talking about them, clamoring, yada, 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 yada. Then all of a sudden they weren't no good anymore. I don't understand that. To me, this is still a good fragrance. I like this fragrance. It smells good. And what do you get with it? You get oud. This is, to me, a cleaner, easier to wear oud. And I can remember, I don't think I've not worn this, I don't think I've worn this fragrance and not gotten a compliment. Mm -hmm. Again, it's oud, so they all start out with just this little bit, this hint of skankiness, this hint of animalicness, but then they either go in a couple of different directions, more animalic, chill, or clean. This one, to me, comes off with clean. I think when you mix the notes of oud and vetiver, that's when you get that, that clean smell that I'm talking about. I can remember wearing this to work. Um, Yes, I wore oud, I wore an oud fragrance to work, and I can remember a young lady walking by me and goes, "I don't know who that is, smelling good, but whatever you've got on, that smells so good." And she was quite a ways away from me now. Of course, it was in the winter time, but still, nonetheless, Dunhill Icon Elite. Um, compliment getter, man. And to me, it. It, it's a little spicy, a little fruity, definitely oody, but it, it gives off that clean oody vibe, and I, I like it. As that Ben Sherman is really doing what it's doing right there, and it's it's a little animalic -y. And that John Barbados is still staying. And that Frank Olivier is in that stage right now where it's got a little bit of musk at the top. It's got a little bit of musk. You gotta wait on it to make that turn. But to me, once it makes that turn, it's a really, really nice fragrance. Yeah, really nice fragrance. Now, to the two that are the most expensive, and these are tit for tat. One of them I've seen, I didn't pay that much for mine at all, but I got lucky and bought mine from a fragrance reviewer. Um, 
from the house of Mansara, and I think they do oud better than anybody. That's just my opinion, and this is a parfum concentration, and it's from the house of Mansara, and it is black to black. And I always wanna call this back to black. I, mean, I think that was an album by was it ACDC or somebody. And this is a smooth, boozy, check this out. It's a quiet oud. It's not loud, it's not obnoxious, it's very smooth and quiet. Just easy to wear, smooth oud. You see that juice? You see that color? Uh, that's what it's gonna remind you of. Slightly boozy, just, you know. I like it, man, I, I like this one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, you fellas, something that you probably are not gonna believe. There's something about the note of oud. If it fits with your chemistry and you wear it properly, women will compliment you on it. They just do. They just do. And I don't know why. It could be the animalicness in it that they smell. It's just kind of go, you know, maybe it speaks to their inner woman or something. I mean, I can't explain it. I'm just telling you, it does work. Mm. That smells good. That smells good. Which one is that? It's not the Frank Olivier. Hmm. That is the John Barbados. That's the Frank Olivier. That's the Ben Sherman. So that's gotta be the icon. That's gotta be the Dunhill icon. Yeah, it's it's sweet, clean, spicy, which is the hint of that animalicness, but yeah, it's, it's nice, very wearable. And this one right here is just smooth, boozy. Again, very, very quiet. It's not a loud, obnoxious oud. It's smooth, very quiet. Very, very easy to wear. I like that one. And last but not least, I'm not sure if it's more expensive than Back to Black or vice versa, but I know it's one of the uh, more expensive ones that I have out here. But nonetheless, I think it is a great fragrance. I love the bottle color and I love the name of this fragrance from the house of Dolce and Gabbana and it is from their exclusive edition line and it is the one Mysterious Nights and I love the color of that bottle. Again, it makes me think about my 49ers. Love that stuff, man. And this, this right here, to me, is sexy day, night, ooh, winter or summer. It's just got this vibe that says, hi. Even though it's extremely chill, it make you want to do a Ric Flair, and woo, it make you want to woo. But it, it's a great smelling fragrance. A little fruity, a little sweet. Definitely pick up on the oud. A little bit of that, uh, the one DNA. This is just. And Mysterious Nights is the is a beautiful name for this fragrance because I could see this being worn with a nice polo with some pretty jeans and some nice sneakers on. It's just some nice kick. Chelsea boots, Justin boots, whatever you wear. Um, and I can see somebody thinking you really smell good with this. Now, don't get it twisted. Just because I feel like you can wear oud in the middle of the summer doesn't mean that I don't like my oud fragrances in the winter because I do. Again, this is one of those bam, bam, couple of shots to the neck, to the back of the neck. And I think she's going to be wanting to sniff you. You can't overspray with these oud fragrances or you got to keep it chill. You keep it chill, keep it subtle. Yeah, I think you're going to be on to something. But from last but not least, from the house of... Dolce and Cabana and the San Francisco 49ers colors. It is Mysterious Nights, man, and I like this fragrance. I like all of these fragrances, all of them. I, I, I do, I like them all. To me, they work, they work well. And all of them you can get on a budget. The only one that I think is gonna be over $100 is the Luminous Nights, not Luminous Nights, Mysterious Nights. But if you shop right, you can get that in the 60s as well. Um, and then the same thing with, with men's service, black to black. If you shop right, you can find that between 80 and $100, and it's not a bad price for the type of fragrance that you get. 
All right. All right, guys. Listen, the next time you see me, unless something catastrophic happens, it's going to be the week in review, Fergus. This is where I tell you about everything in a wolf in a week. Thank you for being a friend and part of the best part of this channel. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. For those of you who watched to the end of this beautiful video, if you want a sample of this, we're going to do it drawing style again. Comment in the comment sections that you would like to be entered into the little drawing. And we're going to pull three or four names out. We put three or four names in there, pull them out, and somebody's going to win a little uh, 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil, maybe 5 mil, 10 mil of this. And I may throw in something else as well, but definitely a 10 mil of John, I'll get it right, John Barbados. Ooh, now I got to go, got to edit this thumbnail. Edit this video, get it up so you guys can see it. Again, thank you so much for being the best part of this channel. I love you all. May God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace.